everybody, my name is Eli Stroll. I work in education and guest services here at the WNC Nature Center. And as you may know, the center is currently closed, but we still have more wonderful and skilled staff here taking care of the animals who are doing very well. Many of the staff and people at home are experiencing a lot of changes right now. And in nature, a lot is changing as well. There's a lot of exciting things happening. So I thought we'd take a few minutes and explore the grounds and check out some of what spring has to offer. The smelly, the hairy, and the pretty. And here we've got something pretty right here. It's an eastern red bud. This is a plant that's in the same family as peas and beans and peanuts. And it's actually offering food to insect pollinators. So in exchange for a nectar meal, the insect will allow this plant to make seeds and to reproduce. And we've got some reproduction action happening right below this. Don't worry, this is a family friendly program. And I want to show you this. Come check it out. So my coworker said that this looked like a brain. I wonder what you think it looks like. People call this a morel mushroom. This is the fruiting body of a fungus. And the organism itself is underground. In the spring, these come up so that more mushrooms and more organisms can be produced later on down the road. This will produce food for box turtles, our only land turtle. And right now, right over here, we've seen our turtles a lot more active as the weather changes. So we'll take a look and see if we can spot any turtles. So here's our turtle pond here. It's a little hard to see probably from your viewpoint, but we've been seeing our turtles come out a lot lately. As it warms up, they're becoming more active after their rest for the winter. Right next to them is this really cool flower I want to show you. It's kind of hiding. Right here. That's an interesting looking thing. I wonder if you could name this plant what you would name it. The people that decided to name it. The name that stuck is Jack in the Pulpit. And so this is a flower that provides an opportunity for different pollinators than the redwood tree that we got to check out. And I'd like to check out another flower with you. It's one of my favorite flowers. It's one of the first flowers I learned to identify in nature. I usually, with, when I'm with a group, I'll walk backwards when I'm talking. I'm not sure that's the best idea on film, but follow me. We'll head down and see if we can find the columbines by the cat. So here we have a plant that's offering a meal for animals like butterflies and hummingbirds. So if you take a look at this flower, you'll notice it's designed really differently from the other ones that we've been checking out. And the nectar's at the very back, so the hummingbird has a beak that's designed perfectly to get that nectar out. The hummingbirds in our area will not stay here throughout the year, but we do have a bird that lives here all year round that our staff has been seeing that I'd like to go see if we can see. So inside this box right now is a screech owl pair and they have been laying eggs and those eggs should be hatching real soon. If anyone's interested in putting up a nest box, for birds or other species. There's lots of information available on how to do that and now would be a great time for a project like that. So this is the smelly part of our segment, sweet shrub. It's got these lovely blooms on it right now and the leaves and the stems have a smell that's sweet and kind of spicy and a little bit of citrus in there. I wonder if any of you have ever smelled this. And if you have and want to leave comments about what you think it smells like, please feel free. I also wonder if you all are able to catch any nature smells where you are. I wonder about that. And now it's time for the hairy part of our adventure. Let's go see that. Another spring happening here at the Nature Center is molting. A lot of our animals are shedding their winter coats. 
just like you and I will shed our winter clothes for the spring season. You can see here on Becca, our white-tailed deer, that she's shedding the hair that she would use in the wintertime to help keep her warm. Now that we've covered pretty, smelly, and hairy, it's time to take a glimpse into the future. Who knows exactly what that holds, but promise can be found. These flowers right here, after being pollinated, will turn into fruit. And we can see some examples of young fruit here. These will turn into blueberries further along in the year. I sure do look forward to that. And we look forward to seeing you all again, both remotely and in person, sometime in the future. We hope you stay well and that you get a chance to enjoy some of the familiar signs of spring. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining us.